Prior to the November 2020 presidential election, voters across the state of Minnesota will have the opportunity to participate in the presidential nomination primary, occurring on March 3, 2020. The presidential primary is part of the nationwide selection process to determine which presidential candidate for each political party will appear on the ballot in the November general election. In the recent past, Minnesotans selected their preferred presidential candidate at party caucus meetings. Caucuses are meetings organized by political parties to schedule neighborhood political events, discuss party platforms, and select candidates to represent the party. Caucuses will still be held in Minnesota on Tuesday, February 25, 2020, but will not be used to select presidential candidates. Rather, voters can visit their regular polling places on March 3rd to vote for their party's presidential candidates. The result of the primary will legally bind party delegates to vote for a particular candidate at the national conventions. To participate in the presidential primary, voters must be an eligible voter in the state of Minnesota and must be 18 years of age by the day of the presidential primary. Individuals who are turning 18 by the general election in November, but who are 17 on the day of the presidential primary, are not eligible to vote that day. Just like other elections, absentee voting will begin six weeks before primary day, with early voting locations opening in Ramsey County the seven days before primary day. Each major political party submits a list of presidential candidates to the office of the Secretary of State by December 31st, 2019. The candidates submitted by that deadline will appear on the primary ballot, even if a candidate chooses to stop their campaign before primary day. The parties participating are Democratic Farmer Labor and Republican. Each political party will have a separate ballot. Only the office of the president will appear on the ballot. The candidates will appear individually and will not be paired with a vice presidential candidate. Voters must provide a party choice in order to vote. A voter is not eligible to vote if they are unwilling to provide a party choice. To encourage voter privacy, registered voters will be allowed to choose their party from the poll pad screen. The party choice will print on a poll pad receipt. The voter will bring this receipt to the ballot judge. Non-registered voters will mark their preference in the non-registered roster book. Election judges will mark the party choice on the yellow receipt, which the voter will bring to the ballot judge. Voters will request a ballot for a specific party, and that choice must be recorded on the roster and will be added as part of the voting history for the primary. The voter's choice of party ballot is private, but will be shared with the chairs of the major political parties after the election. Unlike other states, voters in Minnesota are not registering with a political party as part of this voting process. The ballot judge will use either the poll pad receipt or the yellow receipt to provide the party-specific ballot to the voter. The ballot given to the voter must match what is listed on the ballot receipt. Only one ballot scan will be provided to each precinct. The ballot scan can accept any party's ballots. Ramsey County Elections has created a presidential primary manual. Please read through this manual as part of your training. A copy of the manual will be provided on primary day. A tear-off fact sheet will also be provided on election day. The fact sheet highlights some of the new procedures and requirements for voting in this primary. Finally, a reference sheet with party information will be available if voters would like to contact their specific political party. As voters learn about the new requirements and procedures for the presidential primary, make sure to remain neutral and nonpartisan. As an election judge, your job is to help voters navigate this new process. Remember to remain patient, courteous, and respectful to all voters, regardless of their political views. Respect the privacy of the voter, both in their party selection and their vote. Thank you for serving as an election judge for Ramsey County.